miss doing, you know, the couple activities, but I realized that I could just take myself out to dinner. I'm in Vermont right now and I'm about to make some dinner. I just got to Vermont yesterday and I've just been chilling. But right now I'm in my aunt's house. It is so nice. It's very cozy. It's a very beautiful home in the forest. So nice to be among the trees and kind of like disconnect. We have no cell service here. We do have Wi-Fi, but I try to not be on my phone as much while I'm up here and that is something that I really want to work on because I'm on social media too I spend a lot of my time on my phone and I hate it I really like times like these where I can just like disconnect be mysterious be in my own world <laughs> I'm also snacking on some chips and salsa <laughs> Let's make dinner together. I'm starving. I had like a big breakfast today and then we went on a really nice walk. So I haven't eaten since 12 and it's now 5 p.m. I know it's like already so dark. I don't have something specific in mind, but I'm just gonna like try as I go. I'm making some rice. Should I do the whole thing? Fuck it. We're a big family over here and I'm sure we're gonna eat it, but I'm chopping up an onion. I have some spring onion. Then I'm gonna chop up some carrots, broccoli, throw these beans in there and kind of just like saute these veggies a little bit. And then I wanna do something with the tofu. Then I wanna make a salad. So I got these peppers, some lettuce already washed and I love artichoke hearts, so I'm gonna put that in. And of course some chickpeas. I love putting chickpeas in my salad. So that's the salad. And this is my snack. Mm. It's crazy how much tastier produce is up here than outside of the city. This is so good! What's up? Oh, you're so vocal! What's up, King? One thing I love to do when I'm up in Vermont is go thrifting, and this is one of my favorite thrift stores. Like, how insane is this leather maxi skirt, this jacket? They had a bunch of beautiful clothes. And a friend of mine from New York was also in Vermont, which was such a cool surprise. I don't know if I like this or if it's weirding me out. lunch at the Moondog Cafe, which was really sweet, very cozy, but I decided to keep thrifting and I went to this antique store, which I really love. I've been here a bunch of times. They have really, really cool antiques. The craftsmanship and just quality of these items is so incredible. And when I saw these door handles, I thought to myself, wow, what if I just changed every single door handle in my apartment with vintage ones. I think that would be so cool. Such a cool little DIY project. The next day we had a family dinner, which was so wholesome. I love getting together with my family and 
just stuff our faces. <laughs> That's what the holidays are about, aren't they? It's the lyrics to a song, and it's called Old Friends. We went skinny dipping when we had a chance to, but very few of us are skinny anymore. We may have some of the body parts that we used to, but we can't remember what they're for. <laughs> so light all the candles on the table, throw another log on the fire, tell the old stories. We all know how it ends. Old, old friends. Aww. They say of the 1960s, if you remember, it means you weren't there. It was LSD and THC in the blender. Now it's Part D, Prescription H, and Medicare. <laughs> if you forget, I'll tell you who you are, and you can tell me who I used to be. Aww. <laughs> We have to light a little candle, set the mood. This one smells so good. I think it's eucalyptus. I've never been on a solo date, but I do love my own company, so I'm sure it's not gonna be like awkward for me. <laughs> I just miss doing, you know, the couple activities and like going out to dinner and all that stuff, but I realized that I could just take myself out to dinner. By the way, I'm using the Everyday Humans Resting Beach Face SPF 30 and I really like it under my makeup because it gives my skin a really nice glow. It has hyaluronic acid and I'm gonna go in with the Merit... <laughs> you can't even see the letters anymore. That's how long I've had this. I'm literally almost done with this. But I'm gonna use this as my concealer slash foundation and it's a really nice creamy formula. I've been in this weird stage of like craving romantic intimacy but also not wanting it at the same time. Like I'm so good being alone but it does get lonely and I'm not really in a dating mood. You know the weird in-between phase after you break up where you start to forget all the, <laughs> all the icks <laughs> and just remember the nice cozy lovely memories? Well, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Going in with a Charlotte Tilbury Tinted Love um, in Blushed Rose. This is like a blush stain and like a lip stain. It gives me a very natural flush, which I really like. But the thought of like meeting new people in pursuit of a romantic connection right now just does not... No, like I do not have <laughs> the energy or capacity for that at this point in my life and I think that is totally fine um, I think I just need to listen to what I'm feeling and do that for once I don't want to know your favorite color I don't want to know where you went to school I don't know I don't I don't want to know anything about you I am good <laughs> I want to know more about me and what I like and what sparks joy in me but I'm super happy because I have met a lot of beautiful, amazing people and my community is expanding. I think eventually it'll feel right for me to get back into the dating scene. We have all the time in the world and we should use some of that time to really get to know ourselves. And hopefully this solo date is like the first of many because I truly love the idea of me just like exploring and going to new places and also being open to people talking to me in real life instead of like hopping on dating apps. So I think that's gonna be fun. Okay, doing brows with this little Merit brow gel. That being said though, I was talking to a friend of mine recently and I was telling her this exact thing, like maybe this point in my life is not about this, it's not about dating, it's about something else, you know? And she was like, yes, but also, <laughs> Keep an open mind because something could come in at any time and it could be something really good. Just keep your eyes open and your heart open. I do agree with that. Like I am open-minded. I'm not like closing myself off to the possibility. I don't know, if you're in a similar situation, let me know how you feel about that because I know I should be keeping an open mind, but uh, my mind is kind of set on like not pursuing anything at the moment. 
which I think is totally cool. Now in the winter, I'm just gonna be in like hermit mode and like doing my own thing, following my passions, diving into my hobbies, learning about things in the world and myself. And then come summer, feeling hot, feeling sexy, we're out, we're about, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, that's just a thought I had. I'm sort of speaking recreationally at this point, but anyways, I am gonna bring my journal tonight. I wanna write everything that I've been feeling down and enjoy my food and, you know, treat myself. I hope nobody looks at me weird for eating alone tonight, but honestly, like, <laughs> I live in New York. You have seen crazier stuff. The last time I was at this restaurant, I was with my ex on a date and I feel like reclaiming that space now. We are creating new memories in this restaurant. Mm, that's a cute little wing. I think I want a tight line. I'm gonna look seductive. Like, who is she? Mysterious girl with her journal dining alone. It's <laughs> the look. So let's pick an outfit now. I'm just gonna flat iron my bangs real quick and get dressed and we're out. Okay, here's the outfit. Just a simple top with this vintage jacket that I got on Earth Day, if you remember. And these jeans are thrifted and these boots are thrifted too. Let's go on the date. <laughs> Getting out of my comfort zone and taking myself out on the date was really transformational in the way that I always depended on my partners in the past to give me that emotional support and doing fun things together when I really could have done a lot of things myself. I can take myself out on dates, I can hold myself, make love to myself, I can seek community and emotional support from my friends, I can travel and experience a myriad of things if I choose to. I don't know what the future holds, but the more I think I can give love to myself, the less likely I'll be accepting bare minimum treatment and be half loved by people. And I'm excited to, you know, experience the love I can give. On another note, I wanted to experience the city as a tourist during the holidays, so a couple of my friends and I went down to Rockefeller Center to see the tree, and it's always magical. It was just so overcrowded, but we were just goofing off. Uh, my roommate brought this uh, selfie stick, so that was funny. Um, I haven't seen one of those in years. Give me one second, guys. Just, uh, give me one second. I have to set up the selfie stick. But we walked down to Bryant Park and got a little bite to eat before checking out the Christmas market. But I truly thank you so much for watching the entire video and like and subscribe for more. I will see you in my next one in a week. Love you. Bye.